It is warm today. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing one that I've been excited to film since I started Booktube, and it is the mid year book freak out tag. So ever since I started blogging, I've always done the mid year freak out tag. But this year I've decided to bring it onto my booktube channel rather than doing it on my blog. If you've never heard of the mid-year book freak out tag before, basically it's sort of like a half year roundup of like all the books you've read. There's so many different topics that these 13 questions discuss and I can't wait to jump into it. I don't know why my camera's just deciding to like fall down all the time. I think my tripod's breaking. On to the questions. The first question is best book that you've read so far in 2021 and there were a couple of books that I could have chosen for this but I feel like it has to go to drumroll Rose Madder by Stephen King and I don't like the colour of this book I don't understand why it wasn't published in the colour Rose Madder because that would have made a lot of sense. I absolutely love this book and it was the first book that I read of 2021. I didn't have any expectations for it, I didn't know whether I was going to enjoy it, I didn't actually know anything about the book and I think sometimes when you go into a book blind that's when you sort of really fall in love with the book. And don't get me wrong like the topics in this book that are covered are quite difficult like it wasn't an easy book to read. I would be careful going into this because there is mentions of domestic abuse, there's a lot of murder, there's violence, there's attempted rape. It is heavy but I loved the female characters in this book which I'll go into a little bit more later but Stephen King is known for not really writing female characters so greatly but in this book I thought Rose Marda was brilliant. It's very like it's a real horror book if that makes sense. All the characters are very realistic and that's just what makes it like even creepier. The second question is the best sequel that you've read in 2021 so far and I've only read one sequel and this is another book that was like a high contender for being the best book that I've read and I can't believe I'm saying that. <sighs> The best sequel that I've read in 2021 is A Court of Mr. Fury by Sarah J Maas. Can you believe it? I don't think I can. I enjoyed A Court of Thorns and Roses but it wasn't like my all-time favourite book ever. I thought it was like, it was good but you know it wasn't like, it didn't blow me away or anything. And then I read A Court of Mist and Fury. Oh my god. I have not been obsessed with a book this much since probably like the Twilight series. I enjoyed everything about it. I loved Recent. I loved Feyre. Like I didn't think that I was gonna love Recent and I was like why does everybody get obsessed with him but now like I get it. Amazing. Absolutely blew me away. I don't usually like sequels very much so the fact that this was a brilliant sequel just says it all. The third question is what is a new release you want to read but you haven't got round to yet and I've got two for this so the first one is Later by Stephen King and this is the newest hard case crime novel. There's like a dead person who's like helping with the crimes I think. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like the Ben Aranovich books not that I've read them but the Rivers of London because I'm sure there's like a dead person who's helping the detective as well. It sounds super interesting, it's not very long, it's a book that I really should have read already but I still haven't picked up and I've not read any of his hard case crime books yet so it's going to be interesting to see what this one's like. If my mother's watching this she's going to be like Ash just read the book because I want to read it. <laughs> I know she's desperate to read this so I I do need to get around to it so she can borrow it. It's Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid and this is actually set in the same universe as Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and it's basically about like a fire that happens in a party and it's sort of like the fallout from that and like what happens. I don't really know much else I've tried to avoid spoilers as much as possible but everybody that has read this book has said that it's amazing and I can't wait. I mean I've loved the two other Taylor Jenkins read books that I've read so I'm not going to be surprised if this is going to be a five star. If you want to get into contemporary books and you're scared of like the contemporary 
book being quite tropey then you need to go with taylor jenkins read books because they so you can't guess what's going to happen and there's just so much that goes on like it's just fantastic question four is the most anticipated release for the next half of 2021 and it is billy summers by stephen king i have not read any of stephen king's newer books so it's going to be really interesting to finally get around to reading one of those number five is the biggest disappointment for 2021 there was one book that i rated two stars so it's only fair to mention that one here i actually give the proof copies of this to a friend and it is what her fall by erin kelly and i've mentioned this book on this channel already and i did originally give it three stars but on sort of reflection i definitely think is more of a two-star read for me just because i spent a lot of the book confused i didn't really know what was going on and i know that that was the intention but because i don't really know an awful lot about ballet didn't really enjoy it so much if you do love ballet black swan and that sort of thing i feel like it would definitely be the book for you but just unfortunately it wasn't my favorite book this year number six is the biggest surprise of 2021 and I have to give that to A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I only picked this up as a sort of fun experiment to see if I actually would enjoy it or not. It was written a lot better than I thought it was going to. The characters were well-rounded. I thought that the universe was really interesting and the world building was good. And it wasn't just face smacked which I thought it was going to be. It was so much more than that. And I know like people either love Sarah J Maas or hate Sarah J Maas. And I can't believe that I'm on the side of actually really enjoying her work. I never thought I'd see the day I'd pick up her books. It really took me by surprise. Number seven is your favourite new author. And it can be like a debut author or a new author to you. I've got two for this one. I've got a debut author and I've got a new author to me. The new author to me is... Genji Ito and I recently read Uzumaki and it blew me away. I can't believe how brilliant it was. I thought it was such an interesting concept and I've never read any manga like this before and I can't wait to read more of Junji's work in the future. If you love horror I feel like this is something you definitely need to pick up and I would highly recommend reading it. And then for the debut author, I've chosen Amy Noel Parks and the book was The Quantum Weirdness of the Almost Kiss. And this came in February, I believe, booked hooked box. This has got a love triangle in it and I absolutely love triangles. I'm obsessed and I just loved it. I don't really enjoy many YA contemporary books anymore, especially when it comes to like romance, just because I feel like it can be a little bit tropey and as like an adult is not something that I'm necessarily as interested in reading anymore but I thought it was brilliant it was so sweet it was so endearing but it talked about some interesting topics as well like I couldn't get over how brilliant the writing was newest fictional crush I mean a lot of the time when I do these tags I feel like I need to put out I never actually talk about a fictional crush because I don't have one but you can probably guess who I'm going to talk about here. Say it out loud. Resend. Resend is my new fictional crush. I can't help it. I'm a little bit obsessed with him. I was a big fan of Tamlin and I thought Tamlin was going to be my new fictional crush. But no, it's definitely Resend. But Cassian is also up there what can i say i know one of my friends if she watches this video she's gonna be like no god no god please no but i can't help it it is what it is it is, it is what it is for the next question it's newest favorite character i've got two female characters that are my new favorites so the first one is Daisy Jones from Daisy Jones and the Six and this is another Taylor Jenkins read novel I wasn't lying when I said her books are fantastic if you've not read this already definitely pick it up it's all about like 60s music it's about a fictional band but you get so invested in the band and like oh, it's just amazing Daisy Jones is definitely my favorite character I love that she's a bit morally grey she's not perfect by any stretch and a lot of the things she does is quite questionable in all honesty but she's got a heart of gold and I just loved like following her journey, the rise to stardom. The other favourite character is Rose from Rose Matter. 
and I definitely think she is one of the strongest female characters I've read. The amount that she goes through to be that strong, especially at the end, like she goes on such a journey from being somebody who is scared to like leave the house to someone who's like a boss ass bitch, you know? I think she's fantastic and Stephen King has like hit the nail on the head when he wrote Rose Madder. Honestly, like she's fantastic. I, I love it a bit. I think she is brilliant. Mission 10 is a book that made you cry and in all honesty I don't think a book has made me cry so far this year. It's very rarely a book will make me feel like super emotional even a book that's quite sad. I think the last book that actually made me cry was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, another Taylor Jenkins read book because the ending was just whew, it got me. It might be a book by the end of the year, but it isn't one so far. Question 11 is the book that made you happy. And I've got two for this. And the first one is Fence Strike and Distance. And this is like a companion novel to the Fence graphic novel series. So there's a fencing club within a school. It's a private all boys school. It's just so wholesome. It's funny. I never expected to love graphic novels about fencing. It talks about sexuality. It goes into Nicholas and Sergi's friendship is just so wholesome and if you've read the graphic novels you'll definitely enjoy this book and it just made me happy nothing really happened there wasn't like a massive amount of substance in the book so to speak but it was just brilliant i love just reading about the characters in everyday life really the other book that made me happy was heartstopper volume 4 again i just love these graphic novels so much and I just think it was so wholesome of how representative these books are and just everything about it. Alice Oseman is just, she's just an amazing writer. A lot of people are going to feel represented in this book and there's not enough representation in YA in general so it's brilliant that they are in these books. Number 12 is the most beautiful book you've received or bought this year. The Forest of the Stolen Girls by Jane Hur is definitely the most beautiful book that I've received so far this year. Like I love how detailed the book is inside as well. Like all the stenciling is just absolutely gorgeous. In the book box as well, we also received a candle and look how perfectly they match up together. I love it. The final question, number 13 is, what book do you want to read by the end of 2021? Now you could literally insert almost every book on my bookshelf here, but I'm gonna include one that I've not actually purchased yet, but is one that I have on pre-order from Waterstones because the paperback is coming out soon. And it's called The House in the Carulian Sea. And I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sure it is like a children's home in the middle of the sea and it's sort of magical realism. I might be getting this completely wrong, but everybody who's spoken about it has said about how amazing it is. And it's one that I think I'm really gonna enjoy. So many people have said like how moving it is and how brilliant it is. And I'm really interested to see like the fantastical elements of it too. And I think it is going to be like quite an emotional one, I'm not too sure. But that's the one that I'm most excited to read by the end of the year. That was the mid-year book freakout tag. Thank you so much for sticking around. Let me know in the comments what your favourite book has been of the year so far and your least favourite book of the year so far. I'd love to know. Let's have a discussion. If you've read any of the books that I've mentioned as well, let me know. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The support would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you soon in another video. Bye!